What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about Jeepers Creepers 4, a little bit of Jeepers Creepers 5, and just the future of this trilogy in general as it pertains to some comments that came out from Sean Michael Argo, who we know was one of the, I guess I'll say, co-writers of Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Because if you recall, during the credits of the movie, the end credits, it credited uh, Jake Seal as one of the writers behind the movie as well, which is something that was not disclosed to us until we saw the movie in theaters or whenever you saw the movie if you were lucky enough to not subject yourself to that type of embarrassment in theaters congratulations to you probably the best christmas gift you might have gotten <laughs> but just to get into what was discussed this was on a podcast or an interview sit down he had with john ward for one filmmaker one film podcast and he touched on some of the original things that would have been placed in Jeepers Creepers 4 that were ultimately taken out. He's talked about some of the directions narratively the series could go, this trilogy could go in the future for Jeepers Creepers 5 and 6 as it pertains to the Creeper cult, as it pertains to Lane and her child, some other significant things that relate to Creeper lore that were not discussed in the movie. So according to Shawn Michael Argo, this is something that might not shock many of you because there were several items within the movie itself as far as behind the scenes images or steals at least from the movie that gave us an gave us an idea of what could have been teased in the movie but they really didn't dive too deep into it jeepers creepers 4 apparently originally had some origins it was going to dive into related to the creeper now according to sean michael argo the producers were pleased with this but they said let's not let's not go into that right now let's save that for later they ultimately stepped in and this was cut from the script now if you'd like if you'd like to get an idea of where they might have been going with the creeper you'd have to inflict again some self-harm on yourself and, and just endure a repeat viewing of jeepers creepers 4 which does feature a scene around a shrine that the survivors find in the creepers hiding place for the film and on the walls there's a symbol that might be worth researching i'm just pointing that out there it's in it's that sequence where they go into the room they find lane they find all these different easter egg references to the original movie you have a dairy voodoo doll a voodoo doll in the design of the old cat lady with her shotgun a voodoo doll in the design of the cops that were killed now as it pertains to that as it pertains to uh why did the producers not allow this to be part of the film well keep in mind as the story goes is that they don't have permission to explore the origins of the monster however sean michael argo seems more than prepared to dive into other aspects aspects of the monster if he ever is to receive a phone call related to jeepers creepers 5 so with a comment like that as of now, Jeepers Creepers 5 is not greenlit, and maybe that's a blessing in disguise, and I assume it hasn't even been fully written, but that doesn't mean Argo isn't himself planning out or mapping out an outline of where he wants the trilogy to go. Argo has made it clear that another piece that another piece removed from Jeepers Creepers 4 is related to a discussion about if the creeper will consume women parts or if it prefers males for a reason that is not related to anything nasty regarding Victor Salva and any of that on any of that nasty stuff that we know that he has done uh because I know I've had I've seen many people discuss this in just in theory without diving into the Victor stuff why is it that the creeper prefers the men is it is is there something narratively they will come up with as to as to why he prefers eating men over women uh outside of the over sexualization of boys that we've seen in the movie i'm not talking about anything with that i'm more so specifically diving into if they will come up with a reason as to why he prefers men over women so in an earlier draft according to argo chase would have had a conversation with a character about the creepers focus on consuming men this discussion would have tied into the plot line regarding the creeper wanting lane's baby now here's my take on that i genuinely think what they were going to probably just dumb it down to is the creeper preferring males but will eat and consume a woman if necessary to survive before ultimately deciding to regenerate itself once more with a male part it deems more suitable if it were to come across a male that it wanted something from because with that little bit about it tying into lane's baby i'm thinking that lane's baby definitely must be a boy would it not be a boy which again is giving people many vibes related to uh freddy nightmare nursery 5 the dream child giving you vibes of some other stuff but uh the trilogy itself that argo talked about as far as where it could go into five and six he mentioned that lane and her child have their own separate stories and importance to the trilogy if it gets to play out 
I, for one, don't want to see it play out any further than what 4 had to offer. You know, Lane seems to be possessed, and she can stay like that with no resolution for all I care. Argo did acknowledge the lawsuit at one point during this interview, but not much was discussed about this still ongoing lawsuit. So... While it's nice to know that there are plans in place for the trilogy in his mind, I don't want to see this really play out. There were some other comments I don't really agree with. He felt as though the Sowell films didn't have a clear idea of where they want to go, which I don't think is the case at all whatsoever. Even though we know that going off of the behind the scenes stuff salva never wanted to do a jeepers creepers 2 never wanted to do a 3 4 you know so on and so forth he confined it within these 23 days for a reason came up with that lore for a very specific reason until francis ford coppola stepped in and said hey why don't you just tell the movies within the same 23 day cycle and he was like oh duh and that's how you ended up with jeepers creepers 2 and that's how you ended up with the plan the conclusion for jeepers creepers cathedral i don't agree with those comments argo also touched on the fact that the cult was would play a factor in the future films and they would flesh that cult angle out a little bit more we would dive into finding out i guess that these cult members while the creeper is hibernating they are preparing things and getting things set up for the day the creeper is supposed to return for its next 23 day feeding cycle so how and why and if that would be executed well i don't know i just know that i don't feel that that is something that is a strong plot line that can work with this series under this creative team that's just my honest opinion i also do not think that many people want to see these unresolved plot threads from four resolved in a five and a six i think they want this movie to be ignored i think they want it to be discarded i think they want to see the series dead and gone if you are not going to bring back the work that was already started with those first two movies first three whatever i get that those are salva's salva's characters and you want to separate yourself from that however you can easily still set it in the same world we don't necessarily even need to have trisha back even though that is what i would prefer you don't need to have old man taggart back even though that's what i would prefer you can at least have some cheap throwaway line that would confirm that these are all still set in the same universe and it just so happens that it's 23 days 23 years later he escaped the old man taggart's barn and the two characters that we want to see taggart and trisha they just unfortunately won't be in it but doing stories like this where you're separating it so far that you think it's necessary to change the creeper look and all this other stuff that was very drastic in the fourth movie i don't think a lot of people are gonna buy it i don't think they want it let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'm gonna cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video